tiny cries, and little hands. Small wonders that can make an IVF journey well worth struggle and loss, as Vanessa Robinson knows all too well. Having James and seeing him and holding him, it's really indescribable. It's the greatest reward possible at the end of a, of a difficult journey. For some people, becoming a parent takes time. Lots of embryos these days are, are transferred or placed back in the womb, having been frozen for months and sometimes years. New data out of Australia indicates that for frozen embryo transfers, the season in which eggs are retrieved is one factor that influences the outcome. We found that if the egg had been collected um, in summer as opposed to in autumn, which is where we saw the lowest live birth rates, the odds of having a live birth from that embryo transfer were 30% higher, regardless of when the embryo actually went back. While doctors haven't been able to fully explain the link, researchers believe melatonin could be part of the equation. But Canadian fertility specialist Dr. Evan Turk says there are other factors to consider. Is it the sunshine that's doing it? Is it other behavioral factors such as diet, lifestyle, the air quality? We know that changes from season to season. And then there's the other half of the reproductive equation, the sperm. There's not really a lot of sperm information, so could these same seasonal effects that may be impacting the eggs also be affecting the, the male factor side where applicable? But even as researchers learn more, they say family planning should continue on a track that's right for the parents, regardless of the season. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.